If your labels follow a sequence of numbers or letters, you can link the software to do this automatically for you. Click on data, variables, new, and give it a name. Maximum length are the physical number of characters required. So for example, if you're doing a thousand, that would be four characters, 300, three characters, etc. Click on the serialization tab. It defaults to do not use a counter, so it's repeating the same thing. We can do incremental counter, one, two, three, four, or decremental, 10, 9, 8, 7. Normally, incremental counter is selected. Step is what it's going up in. So if this is twos, it'd be two, four, six, eight, etc. Change value after the number of labels, how many of the same label it prints before it goes up to the next number. So two ones, two twos, two threes, etc. Under the data processing tab, in here, we could put in a prefix. L, triple one, L, triple two, L, triple three, etc. You can also add a suffix, triple one, A, triple two, A, etc. You don't need to put anything in here. It will be four characters plus this. Under the prompting tab, I normally put something like enter start number. This is a visual prompt. So when you click on print, this message comes up. Click on OK and close. Next to text, there is a down arrow. Use existing variable. There's the name we called it, serial. Click on it, click on your label, and it'll put in, in this case, a four digit default number. Click on zoom to page. When you click on print, it will ask you for a starting number. If one is inserted, your labels will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If your preceding zeros are required, enter these. As this is set to up to four characters, it won't let us insert more than four characters in there. Make sure pages one is selected and to double check, click on preview and you'll get an idea of how your labels will look. To insert the serial number as a barcode, click on the down arrow next to barcode, use existing variable, click on the file name, and it will display as a barcode.